Wazaristu Mountains, Boreal Continent, Tukiad, Free Russell Hag Republic, 14 May 3052. Another sharp ping announced a successful target lock by the Artemis Fire Control System, and Star Commander Mabram's Khans triggered his LRM-10 launcher almost without thought. In a fight like this, thought is a leading cause of death, he mused briefly, before flicking through a series of displays to find a new target. Mabram's had fought on pure instinct most of the day, like a warrior, like a wolf. Freeing his mind from the drudgery of strategy and manoeuvre, and engaging in pure combat was a welcome change after two days away from contact with the enemy. Mabram's supernova, along with the rest of the 4th Wolf Guards, had engaged Comguard forces on the first day of the Wolf landings on this pastoral world, where the direction of humanity's future would be set. After the first taste of blood, he and his warriors chafed at two subsequent days of careful redeployment. Now, they were the tip of the spear, smashing into the 10th army guarding the wolf's second target, Brizzo. His Timberwolf B's tactical display finally offered what Mabrams was looking for, and the words left the wolf warrior's lips on an open channel before they had even fully formed in his head. I am Star Commander Mabrams Khans of Bravo 2nd Nova. I challenge the pilot of the shootist before me to honourable combat, and will bid away the use of my missile racks for the duration of our battle. In this solemn matter, let no one inter- A silver blur streaked past Mabram's mech from his right, and slammed squarely into the shootist's oddly shaped cockpit. The Comguard's battle mech toppled as if felled by an axe. You are welcome, Star Commander. Even without the broadcast, Mabram's knew who was responsible for the kill. Hot blood rushed into his face. Wilfred. Mech warrior Wilfred, you have broken Zelbringen. That mech was the subject of my challenge. You will answer for your actions. As he spoke, Mabrams unleashed his large pulse laser into a whitewashed thug, lumbering towards the main line of battle. Not so. I took heed of your last disciplinary instruction session and listened carefully. Your challenge was not complete, let alone acknowledged. A pause on the open lines as Wilfred's mic picked up the thrum of another departing Gauss rifle slug. It was an honourable kill. Always finding a way to needle me. The two men had nearly been friends, finding a shared love of strong coffee upon their assignment to the elite fourth. But that blossoming friendship had turned bitter when politics entered their conversations. A fervent crusader. These days, Wilfred never missed a chance to remind the warden Mabrams about their role at the forefront of the clan's great crusade. Now coming to its conclusion, Mabrams had tried to eject Wilfred from his supernova several times, but his most recent complaint to Star Colonel Jira Khans just before the jump to Tukiad, fell on uninterested ears. What would you have me do, Star Commander? Jid asked during the last one-on-one -on -one meeting. Shall we shuffle all of our proclaimed crusaders into their own clusters? Maybe it would be easier if we cast them out entirely, let them form their own clan. You cannot command only those warriors whom you agree with. They are wolves. We are wolves. Wilfred is an excellent warrior. Make it work. Mabram suspected the words were not entirely her own. Khans was close with Ilkhan Kerensky, and both were canny politicians. But he was not about to challenge the woman who had sponsored him for his blood name, not over Wilfred's worthless hide. Attention, 4th Wolf Guards. Strangely, Jira Khan's own voice snapped Mabram's out of his reverie. Focus, I need focus. The Kham Guards 9th Army is approaching to reinforce the 10th. Do not allow them to join up. Shift your attack to the grid coordinates I'm sending now. Good hunting. As if on cue, a new blue marker flashed on Mabram's tactical display at the same time, three sec toplets of red signals entered the edge of his map. Bravo, second, on me. He sent, turning and launching a flight of missiles at the lead mech. Almost as one, the fourth wolf guards pivoted to face the newcomers, tearing into their advance units. Three Comstar mechs fell nearly simultaneously on Mabram's right, while a crab all but exploded on his left. The wolf warrior sank comfortably back into his battle mind, and time faded as instinct reasserted itself. Something tugged him back into full consciousness, however, as he cycled through his displays once again. The shape of the cluster's advance looked off, then he saw it. Wilfred, he's too close. Wilfred stood on the leading edge of the line, where his gargoyle was undoubtedly burning through its ammunition reserves, 
and at a distance his mech did not favour. Mech warrior Wilfred, step back behind the main advance. I am fine, Star Commander. I can hold. Wilfred's voice was drowned out as a second shootist squared to his Omnimech and unleashed the full force of its large bore autocannon and large laser. The resulting devastation turned the gargoyle in place and sent it crashing to the ground. The gargoyle tried to thrash its way back to its feet as the shootist approached to complete its kill. A dark thought slinked across Mabram's mind. I could get rid of him. A moment of distracted focus. A regrettable loss. His death would be his own fault anyway. But, much to his surprise, Mabram's found his mech already moving towards Wilfred's. Whatever dishonourable thoughts his conscious mind may have entertained, it seemed the warrior spirit within was in a more cooperative mood. A brace of long-range missiles from Mabram's Timberwolf found their mark, giving the shootist pause. Mech warriors Milok and Hunter followed behind their Star Commander, spraying shots from their quartet of autocannons across the Calm Guard's mech. Faced now with three Omnimechs, the shootist slunk back towards the remainder of its level two, as Wilfred staggered the gargoyle back to its feet. Star Commander, I... we are wolves, Wilfred. He turned towards the reeling Ninth Army. Whatever the outcome, we will finish this hunt together.